Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333386 hello students how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 9th of december the session will be very interesting so do pay attention till the end first we'll go for some important revision current affairs let's start first is make in odisha conclave this was the third edition of this Make in Odisha conclave that was held at Bhavneshwar from November 30th to 4th of December in 2024. Highly important. You have to remember this was the third edition of this Make in Odisha conclave. Next, International Civil Aviation Day. On 7th of December, we observe International Civil Aviation Day. Highly important. Mark this. Swam Section Prayog. This is an NGO. This is a Maharashtra based NGO that has recently won the Local Adaptation Champions Award. Highly important. Take a note of it. All right. And this uh, Swam Section Prayog. This is basically an NGO that is supporting the women to adopt climate resilient warming methods. Next is digital payments. Recently, digital payments worth 38.32 trillion rupees was carried out in the third quarter of 2022 that is from July to September month of 2022 as per the data released by World Line. And if you remember World Line plus National Payment Corporation of India, these two are the organization. They together partnered to launch UPI in Europe. All right, so that, that people of Europe can also start using UPI facility there. Next, next is Narendra Singh Tomar has recently inaugurated National Soil uh, Conference on Soil Health Management. I repeat, recently it was N Narendra Singh Tomar who have launched this National Conference on Soil Health Management. Important take a note. All right, and basically this particular uh, soil health management national conference was based on sustainable farming all right next is your armed forces flag day on 7th of december we observe armed forces flag day then next is who became the 77th grandmaster of india and grandmaster is related to which sport it is related to chess so aditya as you can see him in the picture he became the 77th grandmaster of india Next, ISRO has recently tied up with Vyom Space to build private capsules and these private capsules will be used to transport humans as well as capsules or as well as 
कार्गोज टू द स्पेस और राइट टू एनी वेयर वेयर वी वॉन्ट टू ट्रांसपोर्ट दैम और राइट सो रिमेंबर अगेन दैट इट वॉज इसरो एंड व्योम स्पेस दैट इज बिल्ट और दैट इज रिसेंटली टाइड अप फॉर दिस प्राइवेट स्पेस कैप्सूल दैट इज फॉर ह्यूमन एंड कार्गो ट्रांसपोर्ट नेक्स्ट हु बिकेम द ब्रांड एम्बेसडर ऑफ उत्तराखंड गवर्नमेंट ही विल बी प्रसोन जोशी और राइट नॉट उत्तराखंड गवर्नमेंट बट फॉर उत्तराखंड स्टेट और राइट सो हु हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू ब्रांड एम्बेसडर फॉर उत्तराखंड स्टेट ही विल बी प्रसून जोशी एज यू कैन सीम इन द पिक्चर अर्लियर इट वॉज ऋषभ पंथ हु वॉज ऑल्सो अपॉइंटेड एज द स्टेट ब्रांड एम्बेसडर एंड अक्षय कुमार द एक्टर वॉज ऑल्सो अपॉइंटेड एज द ब्रांड एम्बेसडर ऑफ उत्तराखंड नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन हिस्ट्री मिस अर्थ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू हैज बीन फ्रॉम द साउथ कोरिया शी विल बी मिन सू चोई और राइट सो मिस अर्थ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इज फ्रॉम साउथ कोरिया एंड शी इज मिन सू चोय नेक्स्ट वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ड्रोन्स वेयर वॉज द फर्स्ट ड्रोन मेला हेल्ड इन ग्वालियर मध्य प्रदेश वेयर वॉज द बिगेस्ट ड्रोन मेला हेल्ड इट वॉज हेल्ड इन न्यू डेली देन इन हिमाचल प्रदेश फर्स्ट ड्रोन पॉलिसी वॉज अडोप्टेड इन उत्तराखंड द ड्रोन वॉज यूज फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन हेल्थ केयर सेक्टर एंड नाउ आर यूनियन मिनिस्टर अनुराग सिंह ठाकुर हैज इनाग्रेटेड इंडिया फर्स्ट ड्रोन स्किल ट्रेनिंग कॉन्फ्रेंस एंड ड्रोन यात्रा इन चेन्नई तमिलनाडु हेयर ड्रोन्स रिलेटेड स्किल्स विल बी प्रोवाइडेड सो दैट पीपल कैन ऑपरेट दोज ड्रोन्स इन फ्यूचर नेक्स्ट वीना नेर वीना नेर हैज रिसीव द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू प्राइम मिनिस्टर प्राइज फॉर एक्सीलेंस शी इज एन इंडियन ऑरिजन टीचर करंटली टीचिंग इन मेलबॉर्न ऑस्ट्रेलिया शी हैज अराउंड ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन टीचिंग शी टॉट इन इंडिया यू ए एज वेल एज ऑस्ट्रेलिया मूविंग ऑन नेक्स्ट विच इज द वर्ड ऑफ द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एज पर द ऑक्सफर्ड इंग्लिश डिक्शनरी इट विल बी गॉबलिन मोड आई रिपीट गॉबलिन मोड इज द वर्ड ऑफ द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एज पर द ऑक्सफर्ड इंग्लिश डिक्शनरी हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट सो दीज वर योर करंट अफेयर्स फॉर रिविजन फ्रेंड्स नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर योर टूडेज करंट अफेयर्स फर्स्ट फर्स्ट इज आर एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स मिनिस्टर डॉक्टर एस जयशंकर हैज एड्रेस्ड द सेवेंथ एडिशन ऑफ द ग्लोबल टेक्नोलॉजी समिट आई रिपीट डॉक्टर एस जयशंकर हैज एड्रेस द सेवेंथ एडिशन ऑफ द ग्लोबल टेक्नोलॉजी समिट दिस वॉज अ थ्री डे लॉन्ग समिट दैट वॉज हेल्ड इन न्यू डेली एंड इट वॉज अबाउट द राइज ऑफ इंडियाज लिंक विद द राइज ऑफ इंडियन टेक्नोलॉजी इट इज इंडियाज एनुअल फ्लैगशिप इवेंट ऑन द जियो टेक्नोलॉजी दैट वॉज ज्वाइंटली होस्टेड बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स एंड कार्नेज इंडिया द बेसिक थीम दैट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर of this seventh global technology summit is geopolitics of technology this is the theme geopolitics of technology theme for the seventh edition of the global technology summit ministers and senior government officials from the us singapore japan nigeria brazil bhutan and european union and other countries also attended this summit all right next Next, we will be talking about RBI's Monetary Policy Committee. Recently met on December fifth to seventh, and they have released the monetary policy statement. And in this, they have released or they have increased the repo rate by three by thirty five basis point. That is by point three five percent. Now the repo rate stands at six point two five percent. What is the difference between repo rate? and reverse repo rate remember repo rate is the rate at which the central bank provides loans to the commercial banks all right and on the other hand what is repo rate it is the rate that is it is the interest that is offered by rbi to the banks that deposit funds with them all right so remember india's reserve bank of india that is your rbi has recently in their monetary policy committee that met on 5 to 7th of december released monetary policy statement for 2022 2023 resolution of mpc which declined india's real gdp growth rate to 6.8% for fiscal year 23 that was 7% projected in september 2022 all right this stance is to focus on the withdrawal of accommodation the real gdp growth rate 
for the first quarter of 24 is projected around 7.1% and 5.9 for the second quarter. Inflation is projected at 6.7% in the fiscal year 23 with quarter 3 at 6.6 and quarter 4 at 5.9% and risk evenly balanced. Next, next is Saudi Arabia's Moshat, India's Sidbi. I repeat, Saudi Arabia's Moshat and India's Sidbi has joined hands to develop MSME sector. I repeat, Moshat of Saudi Arabia and India's Sidbi, they came together to join hands to develop the MSME sector. Let's talk about it. A memorandum of understanding was signed between the Sidbi and Mossad that is your uh, Saudi Arabia as that is the small and medium enterprise general authority of kingdom of Saudi Arabia that is Mossad. Alright, so Sidbi and Mossad or we can say India's Sidbi and Saudi Arabia's Mossad came together and signed an MOU to develop the MSME and their ecosystem in both the countries. Highly important. Apart from this, if we talk about what is the need for this MOU or what this MOU contains, this is a bilateral event or this is a bilateral initiative to improve the dip diplomatic relationships between India and Saudi Arabia. Under this, both the sides will explore and collaborate on matters of common interest. This collaboration will be done between the MSME institutions of both the countries. Here, SIDBI will offer expertise to the newly launched MSME Bank of Saudi Arabia. If we talk about SIDBI, can you tell me who is the chairman and managing director? He will be Siva Subramanyam Ramanji. The headquarter is in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. And when was this established? It was in 1990 when this was established. That is SIDBI. So remember, it was SIDBI and Mossad of Saudi Arabia that came together, signed an MOU to develop the MSMEs. Next, here you can see about the what is the need for this MOU. Next, next is IDFC First Bank, NASCOM. They have partnered to grow the innovative ecosystem. I repeat, on 7th of December, IDFC First Bank and NASCOM, the center of excellence, partnered to grow the innovation ecosystem and guide startups through a range of banking solution. IDFC and NASCOM COE signed this memorandum of understanding for appointing the IDFC First Bank as the preferred bank for startups at an event that was held in Bangalore, Karnataka. Also, the bank will offer the products and solutions for startups including zero balance startup current account, working capital solutions for pre-profit startups and also business credit Cards will also be offered to those startups. Also remember, NASCOM shall support the partnership with its technology along with domain expertise. Then if we talk about IDFC First Bank, this was formed by the merger of IDFC Bank and Capital First Bank, a non-banking financial company on 18th of December 2018. And where is the headquarter located of this IDFC First Bank now? It is in Mumbai. Maharashtra and who is the MD and CEO V Vedyanathan. So coming back in order to help the startups in different ways, this IDFC First Bank has tied up with NASCOM. All right. Moving on. Next. Next is Asian Development Bank. Asian Development Bank has recently approved 780 million loan for battering Chennai Metro Rail system. ADB approved how much loan? 780 million dollar. For what? For Chennai Metro Rail to improve the network connectivity. This ADB, that is your Asian Development Bank, will provide an additional $1 million technical assistance grant to help the Chennai Metro Rail with the planning and management of the Metro's road or Metro's system multimodal integration. This was, remember, $750 million loan for Chennai Rail Metro project. Then, apart from this, remember, Asian Development Bank has also approved $300 million loan to improve the road and regional trade in India. I repeat, to improve the road and regional trade in India, another $300 million was approved by Asian Development Bank. Here you can see ADB approved $300 million loan to upgrade more than 300 kilometers of state highways and major districts in Assam, 
including six road sections in the state western central and southern region all right mark this then if we talk about asian development bank who is the president here matsusugu asakawa it was established in 1966 where is the headquarter headquarter is in philippines and there are 68 members in this particular asian development bank then next pranay verma he has been appointed as the india's next high commissioner to bangladesh remember this india's next high commissioner to bangladesh is pranay verma satendra prakash has been appointed as the principal director general of press information bureau sujoy lal thousand appointed as the additional charge of the dg of indo tibetan border police noise has appointed vani kapoor and noise is a electronics brand they have appointed vani kapoor as the brand ambassador for their new smart watch ifs officer shweta singh has been appointed as the director of pmo justice uday uday uh, uday umesh lalit will be the 49th chief justice of india yes he was the 49th chief justice of india but now you need to remember who is the 50th chief justice of india he will be justice dev g d y chandrachud then Auguste Tano Kwame has been appointed as the World Bank country director for India and Suresh N Patel has been appointed as the new central vigilance commissioner. Then remember if we talk about sports Sebastian Vettel announced retirement from Formula 1. James Wide Open a uh, Games Wide Open unveiled the Paris Olympic 2024 official slogan Asia Cup 2022 shifted out of Sri Lanka to United Arab Emirates government has approved the signing of guarantees for hosting FIFA under 17 women's world cup Sanket Mahadev Sargar has won the India's first medal in Commonwealth Games 2022 Meera Bai Chanu won the first gold medal in India at the Commonwealth Games 2022 and Max Verstappen has won the Hungarian Grand Prix 2022 England defeated Germany to win the women's European Championship for the year 2020 Next next is Defence Expo will be held in Gandhinagar from 18th of October to 22nd of October. Then Google launched India ki udan to celebrate the 75 years of independence. Telangana launched Nithan ku bima scheme for weavers. Samudrayaan mission to send 6000 feet deep in ocean humans to 6000 feet uh, 6000 meter deep in ocean. Then Microsoft became the first company to join the ONDC network. Maharashtra governor inaugurated 22nd Bharat Rang Mahotsav. Amit Shah launched onboarding of cooperatives on Jam portal and PM Modi dedicated second generation ethanol plant in Panipat. Then in, in first India Nepal Bharat Gaurav tourist train was flagged off from Delhi. Indian Oil Corporation launched indoor uh, indoor solar cooking stall by the name Surya Nutan. Important mark this. Then PM Modi inaugurated Vanijya Bhavan, the new premises of Commerce Ministry. Then Andhra Pradesh signed an MOU with Byju's for government school kids, and also Byju's appointed uh, Lionel Messi as their sports brand ambassador. Then Delhi Airport became the India's first to run entirely on renewable power. Union Minister G Kishan Reddy inaugurated Jyoti Rama Festival. Jammu and Kashmir hosts the G20 meetings in G2023. three all over the different place but jammu kashmir will be one of the location where this g20 meetings will be held then gujarat chief minister launched the 17th shala protsav all right so these are some other important current affairs that you need to remember next is asian development bank and iifl home finance limited recently they have signed an mou to develop or to organize kutum event This Kutum event was held in Delhi and basically what is this Kutum event this is for the green affordable housing in India this event Kutum was launched on 2nd of December 2022 with an event that was titled green affordable housing ecosystem in Delhi also this Kutum actively collaborates with consults with developers architects and rating agencies to promote green sustainable future ready affordable housing so it was your asian development bank and india infoline limited home finance limited that organized kutum event in delhi next is vladimir zelensky he has been appointed as the time magazine's person of the year for 2022 so who has been named as the person of the year for 2022 he will be vladimir zelensky he is the president of ukraine and you know that still there is a war going on between russia and ukraine Also remember this 
person of the year title is given to a person who has influenced the geopolitics for the past 12 months all right next Forbes has announced the list of the 100 most powerful women in the world as you can see there are six women from india who has been listed on this list on the top she will be ursula von der Leyen. she is from germany christine lagarde from france on second and kamala harris on the third who is the vice president of usa these are the first three ranking then you can see the six indian women who were listed on this list they are nirmala sitaraman roshni nadar malhotra madhabi puri bak soma mandal kiran muzumdar shaw and falguni nayar remember them these are important then who has been appointed as the new president of peru she will be dina bulat all right highly important and she became the first female to be appointed as the president of peru and she will be dina bulat moving on next next we will be talking about n chandrasekharan he has been appointed by the government of india as the chair of business 20 summit in india i repeat there is a we know that india will be having the presidency of g20 from 1st of december 2022 to 30th of november 2023 so during this meeting only as india will be having the presidency of it there will be a b20 summit that will also be held that is your business 20 summit that will be led by india only that will be chaired by india only so who will be chairing this it will be chaired by and chandrasekharan as per the government of india highly important all right then if we talk about this only this b20 summit was established in the year 2010 and it is the official g20 dialogue forum with the global business committee all right it leads the process of organizing global business leaders behind global economic and trade governance issues also b20 india has identified priorities for deliberations under the theme that is your race theme all right on this base on based on this race theme only b20 will be held and this raises responsible accelerated innovative sustainable and equitable business all right highly important apart from this remember cii that is your confederation of indian industry has been appointed as the b20 india secretariat by the government to lead the b20 india process and cii assumed the charge on 1st of december 2022 next we will be talking about isro and social alpha they together signed an mou i repeat it was isro that have signed a memorandum of understanding with social alpha that is a non-profit organization based in bangalore karnataka and they signed this mou to launch spin and what is spin space tech innovation platform highly important you can see this space tech innovative platform this was launched in collaboration or in an mou signed between isro and social alpha that is a non-profit organization all right and remember this spin it is india's first dedicated platform for innovation curation and venture development for the flourishing space entrepreneur ecosystem all right then if we talk about isro isro also developed a spatial infrastructure geo portal for ladakh and if we talk about isro who is the chairperson as somnath is the chairperson bangalore karnataka is the headquarter and it was established in 1969 next next we are talking about harper collins harper collins has announced the release of the autobiography title sultan and sultan is the autobiography of Vaseem Akram. Vaseem Akram is a very famous baller and he is one of the fastest ballers in the history of cricket. He is related to which sport? He is related to cricket and he is from which country? He is from Pakistan. Vaseem Akram. Next, next is 262nd Army Service Corps Day. This day is observed on 8th of December. So remember this day is observed to commemorate the rich history of the IASC and to pay homage to the soldiers and martyrs who served the nation this 8 december in 2022 observed the 262nd corps day and the 11th reunion day iesc is the oldest and the largest administrative service in the indian army that handles the logistic support function all right then remember for the first time this corps day was celebrated on 8th of december in 1950 
to and since then 8 december is annually observed as iasc scops day next next is your sark charter day is observed on 8th of december remember sark is your south asian association for regional corporation sark charter day is annually observed on 8th of december to mark the adoption of the sark charter on 8th of december in 1985 in dhaka bangladesh 8th of december 2022 marks the observance of the 38th edition of the sark charter day all right it is the 38th edition of the sark charter day and remember sark was formally established when the sark charter was adopted on 8th of december in 1985 then remember since 1985 every year on 8th of december we observe sark charter day then sark if we talk about where is the uh, headquarter of sark it is in kathmandu nepal moving on to next next is your safai karmachari commission which state has recently launched the safai karmachari commission it was launched by assam state highly important directly you can remember that for the first time in the state's history a meeting was held at historic gandhi mandap in guwahati assam where the safai karmachari commission was launched all right next next is which state is aiming to become 100% renewable energy based state by 2040 and to become carbon neutral by the year 2050 it will be your kerala so recently it was government of kerala and world bank that recently inaugurated india's inaugurated india climate and development partners meet this was inaugurated by kerala government along with the world bank i repeat India Climate and Development Partner Meet was hosted by government of Kerala along with the World Bank and stated that the state aspires to become 100% renewable energy based state by the year 2040 and it aims to become carbon neutral by the year 2050 all right then remember Kerala Space 2.0 this is an inclusive and sustainable plan that focuses on the climate change adaptation in key sectors including agriculture coastal fisheries water resources health forestry and biodiversity all right next next is justice tashi rabstan has been appointed as the acting chief justice of jammu and kashmir high court direct question can be asked remember it so that's all for the day friends now let's go for a quick revision government of india invested over 5000 crore rupees in swami investment fund avan to help home buyers then external affairs minister dr s jayashankar has addressed the 7th edition of the global technology summit then rbi's bi monthly monetary policy of 2223 was released and here repo rate was increased to 6.2% to 5% by increasing the 35 basis points then said we and saudi arabia's moshart signed an mou to develop the msme india's uh, idfc first bank and nascom has partnered to promote the startup ecosystem asian development bank has approved 780 million dollar loan to expand the chennai's metro rail network and also approved 300 million dollar loan to improve the india's road and regional trade then niif has partnered with gal to invest 631 crore rupees in three airports asian development bank and iifl home finance limited organized kutum in delhi for affordable housing ukraine president vladimir zelensky became the time magazine's 2022 person of the year then forbes annual list that is the world's 100 most powerful women in this six indians were listed three indian origin women scientists among australia's superstar of stem 23 to 24 then peru's vice uh, vp dina bolat has been sworn in as the first female president of peru and chandrashekharan has been appointed as the chair of b20 india and cia to be the b20 secretariat then isro and social alpha signed an mou to establish spin that is space tech innovation platform harper collins announced the release of the autobiography title sultan Indian Army Service Corps 262nd Corps Day was observed on 8th of December 2022. Sark Charter Day on 8th of December and Assam Cabinet approved a bill to create Safai Karmachari Commission important. Then Chief Minister Pinrai Vijayan of Kerala became uh, decided to become or Kerala state decided to become 100% renewable energy state by 2040 and carbon neutral by the year 20 
fifty. Then Justice Tashi Rafsan has been appointed as the acting Chief Justice of Jammu Kashmir High Court. So that's all for the day, friends. Now let's go to the homework part. First is World Bank recently approved two fifty million dollar financing to which country to strengthen their environment management. Which country is the largest trading partner of India after China and US as of 2022? Which country abolished mortality, morality police known as the Ghashat Airshad or Guidance Patrol? Fifth or fourth question: Oliver Gerard, who has been seen in the news, is famous football player from which country? And fifth is which country is the host of the Asian Pacific Regional Meet of the International Labour Organization? Yesterday I gave you these five questions, but I did not get the maximum response for the students. So these questions are now repeated again, and I want to see the maximum answer from the students. All right, I see the students are missing the answer, so I don't want them to miss the answer. So that is the reason these questions has been repeated again today. So that's all for the day, friends. Thank you, and have a nice day. That's all for the day friends I hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud Telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10 percent discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue